The lifestyle of an NFL player is often characterized by luxury. Expensive cars, lavish homes, and designer clothing become symbols of success. In the glitz and glamour of professional sports, particularly the NFL, the narrative of million-dollar contracts, lavish lifestyles, and overnight fame often overshadows the reality that a significant number of NFL players don't get huge contracts. Yes, I charge my aunt rent while playing in the NFL, but this is a super common misconception about NFL players. Everybody thinks that every NFL player is absolutely loaded, and that's just not the case. In fact, over playing for six years professionally, both in the NFL and the CFL, the most money I ever made was in the $200,000 range, and the least I ever made was about 50K. And things start to add up substantially when you're playing pro football for expenses because whatever team you're playing on, and I played on five NFL teams over that six year period, you have to pay for housing once the season starts. During training camp and off season workouts, the team will pay for where you stay. But as soon as you make the team during the regular season, you're having to cover that housing expense. After making the Falcons roster for the regular season, I rented an apartment, bought furniture, everything for my place. And then two weeks later, they ended up signing veteran Jake Long, former number one overall pick, and they cut me. I got signed by the Panthers the very next day and had to drive to Carolina. And from that point forward, I decided that I was gonna stay in extended stays for the rest of my career, which ended up being cheaper because you didn't have to buy furniture and all that stuff and commit to a long-term lease. But that was anywhere from 15 to 1800 a month on top of having to pay my mortgage. Also, as a 310 to 330 pound offensive lineman, those food bills can add up and I was spending anywhere from 1500 to 2500 on food and I wasn't eating fancy, but I was eating about six times a day. Most NFL contracts are non-guaranteed unless you're a top level player. And when I tore my patellar tendon working out at home, I actually lost that contract. And just a couple months before I had purchased my house, I ended up getting back and playing again, but I only had a little bit of money left over after purchasing my house. And so it was really bad timing to tear my knee. So my aunt moving in with me was actually almost a necessity to make bills. The average NFL career is surprisingly short, lasting about 3.3 years on average. This limited time frame to earn significant income poses a considerable challenge. The league is considered one of the world's most physically demanding sports leagues, with players regularly exposed to hard hits and collisions. 